what... advantage as another dredge line is actually peeled through teddy's ignited already the heal has to be traded there's now mystic trying to bounce around this lane they do have the sustain though and there is effort with the re-engage mystic might have been able to create enough distance but the exhaust comes forward and he has to flash ben is going to die essentially giving his life for the uh the callista as it all starts off with a great hook here actually by ben but we're able to turn it around because because was coming down and also, Effort was able to position really nicely, uh, making sure that Teddy moved out of danger, threatening the stun there, and uh, just a lot of damage potential after the Aftershock is down. Yeah. Enemy jungle is like, well, he's not at red. I have a ward down in the in the pixel brush oh, there at Raptors. Closer, looking for fly. He's going to flash in the 1v1. In order to speed himself up, Spirit now knows that he has to be here to save his mid laner, who does not want to lose all of this. Is That's the flash that he picked up. And Facebreaker is going to miss. Haymaker comes in to try and keep Spirit alive. They're trying. But three on three, while Cuz is just taking the Rift Herald, is uh, exactly what T1 wants. And Spirit gets here just a little bit too late. Does have the Showstopper available. He runs so damn fast, but he's now in between Kana and the Volley Bear. Not where he wants to be. Ben's going to turn up, but the Dawning Shadow just tears him apart. Lucian's going to claim the kill. Keen also going to go down, and T1 absolutely winning this skirmish. That's a decent Fates call. Four-man Shockwave, but that's a very What's dead Orianna. Now Mystic's trying to fight five people, and that's just going to mean a double kill for the Lucian. That's an ace. Six. Uh, definitely a player that I would describe as reckless, and certainly not not the actual. Yeah, he's pro, not not the pro player. Yeah, it's a cut. <laughs> but yeah, here it's like okay. Because he's a bear, he's ahead of you, he has Flash, and he has a Senna behind him. He's never going to die, able to Flash the wall, he beats and keen with him. And then a Freaker are like, you know what, let's, let's just get in there and see what we can do. They're like, oh, I've got Shockwave. Yeah, let's uh, let's fight it. Why? Oh. Like, Mystic flashing there was the most funny part. He's like, I've got to hurry. Uh, yeah. This stage of the game, I mean, just doesn't do very much. As uh, Effort looks for the Solar Flare, finds Ooh. the slow. Not actually the majority of the damage. Oh, what? my God, what? <laughs> Dawning Shadow does so much damage if you hit it. We just don't get to see that many of them hit in the sweet spot. My God. No anything right now for Afrika. No kills, obviously. I do like the perfect, perfect game. This is, uh, Mystic is able to cleanse this, but unfortunately, because of the bubble landing like you were talking about. Oh, oh the Ludens proc. Yeah. But still, Dawning Shadow did so much damage. It I did. swear we don't see it. So, getting a look, okay. and that was a perfect bubble. Yeah, not even sure if he was in range to get the auto, actually. So, I, it wasn't even Mass. Zoe Town. To the point of, like, you can overcommit underneath the enemy turret and still be out of there, no problem. Well, Ben engaged onto Effort, and the yeah. Dawning Shadow and plus Closer is going to be a lot of damage there. Closer goes golden with his stopwatch. Keen, exhausted for a moment, but he's going to look for the Zoe and will find him with that flash and the perfect execution. Now Mystic's flashing also. He's safe for the minute, as now Kana's trying to fight this one back. He's kind of one that spares the blushes of his uh, jungler in mid lane a lot of the time, as this was just a little bit, you know, Nobody can save this one. Has been making a little bit of a mistake, but a really nice shockwave plus team getting in there. And waits for his moment, flashes. R2 gets in there, picks up the kill. Very nice cuz overextending a little bit, but he's Volibear. bear. He so kill. And he finishes that gunblade with his, you know, originally stunted build with the, ooh, the 
arm guard. That's a sexy sidestep, uh -oh. but this is going to be a lot of damage. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's not at uh, that confidence level just yet. It's his engaged from Afrika one more time, but Epis just happy to be engaged on. As you know, Zenith Blade comes in and now Fly's getting culled. Great knock up from Ben to make sure that they can't get too much done there, but Kana just over the wall, still able to get the double tap. However, center is dead. Kuz has been taken down, and now Keen running rampant. Perfect execution is going to land, uh, but Kana just eats him up. This Lucian is gigantic, and Afrika don't even really realize. Got the awesome flank behind Teddy, and they just see, see him down from 100 to 0, essentially. So you take away the center damage, as originally it kind of looked like an engaged bait, which does work out. This is a, another. Great shockwave using Spirit to help out. They take out two people immediately. But then Keen is like, oh yeah, you know, I, I've, I've got my Gunblade. I'm pretty strong. I could help him. Uh, uh -oh. oh, let me take a look. Let me hit tab. Oh, he's five and zero. Playing the... Uh, oh, that's the flash out from Spirit and a very necessary one as well. As the Solar Flare leaves a bit to be desired. Now Ben has to flash also Dawning Shadow. Not going to get that damage like we witnessed earlier. <laughs> Try and cause something as Keen. He's teleported in. The Home Guard is going to be there as well. Shuriken backflip comes down, but oh my god, they're tearing him apart. The Flash Shield of Daybreak, but it's not enough. Yep. It's a little bit different from teams like Diamond and DRX that kind of just throw caution in the wind. As here we go. Yep, there's the Zenith Blade. Oh dear, Ben is going to eat the whole culling and just get popped. Goodbye, Spirit. Kane, he's down towards the Drake. Is the Freaker at least trying to trade that one back? The Baron is going to be taken with two members of T1. The rest are going to move on over and see whether they can stop this one from happening. Cuz is booking it towards this area. Oh. Shuriken back with lands. Kane wanted to use it as a taxi. He has perfect execution available, and the bubble is going to connect. Awning Shadow, oh. a lot of damage. Ben explodes as well. It is going to be the Cloud Drake stolen away, but a double kill instantly occurs afterwards for the Volley Bear. It's another one going over to Closer, and that will be the ace. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is probably going to be the game. Yep, that will do it. They're going to push down mid lane and take game number one. As we're going to take a look at the replay as they are doing it. This is how Ben loses his entire health bar to one Lucian. I believe he's also in stone plate, by the way, so literally zero that he could do at that moment in time. And here's the push. Yep, this should just be the game. I mean, Ben's going to respawn, but we saw he's made of butter, guys. He's just not the big daddy that we expect. From the Nautilus, he's being shredded down. There's the showstopper of it. The show's over. Spirit, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to go home. Not yet. You've got another game to play, at least, but the Nexus doesn't. It's going to fall. Fly, you might need to pay attention to the culling, even though you're on your fountain. It's still not safe here on Summoner's Rift, as T1 will dismantle Afrika.